Okay guys, welcome back. Um, second YouTube video back up. So we are in for pull today. Um, so pull session gonna be recorded. Last session was legs. So gonna run through a pull today. Things are being worked a little bit different at the moment. We are actually running off a new split. So Cuba is actually working with um, Nick Goff at the moment for his training, etc. So we're running off Nick's training at the moment, which is slightly different to what we would usually do. Um, not very different, just slightly. So um, it's been very interesting so far. We've run that for the kind of the last six sessions or so. So you will get kind of a, a, a glimpse into it today of kind of what we are doing. Um, very taxing, very hard, but so far it's been very, very fucking good. So um, Paul today, like I said, we're starting off with deficit um, SLDLs. So um, an absolutely horrible movement, especially for me being tall as well. But um, I really, really liked them last time. So looking forward now, we have the baseline number set from the last session. So I'm looking forward now to seeing kind of where we can go this week and you know basically how the progression is after that kind of first initial initial week. So um, really looking forward to it. Off season is going well over here so far. I'm up since I came over a couple of weeks ago, 12, 13 pounds so far, kind of the initial month. So um, it's going well. In this heat, it's absolutely disgusting and we haven't really haven't haven't even really started getting heavy yet. So I, I, this is gonna it's gonna be fun. But look, when you're looking to kind of push that size up and kind of you know, actually add weight. It, it's not easy and it's it's not meant to be a nice sport. It is what it is. Um, let's go, we'll get into this session and see how this goes. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Me, man. I 
Okay, that's the that's two sets down there. Uh, two sets of eight. Um, the heat doesn't really make it easier as well. It's very hard to kind of fucking cardio that side of things. Um, but yeah, two really good sets. We move on to uh, prone dumbbell retraction at the moment. We do that next, and um, it's a very new exercise, but it's something that we've all connected really, really well with straight away. So very, very tough, but a really, really kind of hits the upper back more than probably anything we've felt before. So um, again, learn new things as we go. As you can see there, we're literally trying to retract, retract the shoulder blades and con contract the upper back as hard as we can. Spending time in that stretch, um, opening our shoulders right up, opening our upper back right up, and then really spending time in that contraction as well. Um, when I've previously seen this exercise, what do you think? That's, that's useless, like, surely you don't feel a thing, you're better off doing a row. But honestly, I've never felt a better contraction on my upper back there. Um, so like I said, you do learn something new every day. Thank you, man. Three, two, yeah. Thank you, yeah. Thank you. So as you can see, today is fucking hot. I said it's close to 30 degrees in here, and very, very tough. So when it's like the, when it's this hot out, when the heat is like this, and you're sweating so much, a little tip is put some extra salt in your intra workout uh, drink, and um, it's just going to help replenish uh, electrolytes that you're going to lose through sweat uh, during your session. So more salt in your drink during, when you train, it's going to replace the electrolytes you lose when you're sweating this much. Oh, 
God. movements were more kind of upper back focus we had our SLDL our prone dumbbell retraction and our upper back uh, prime seated row so now we're moving on to more of a lap focus movement so as you will see in this uh, in this extreme row we're setting ourselves up for a single arm row but we're thinking about driving our elbow back into our hip so we're not thinking elbow out for upper back we're really thinking about keeping the elbow tight and really dragging with that lower lat um, and contracting as hard as we can so You'll see that here, the movement isn't a full row, like a full kind of, we're not drawing our elbows all the way back, we're trying to keep it on the lat, which when you are rowing, that is your lat, and it's fully constructed there, we don't have to extend into here. So as you'll see here, that's basically what we're doing here. And so yeah, two sets here, and then we'll go from there. Almost imagine going the elbow forward. So keep your chest tall, going the elbow forward, and that will help kind of push through a lot. Um, so again, no kind of swinging, every rep, the whole tension on the lats, and driving to our elbows, and looking on the forearm. When they're doing pull ups, you'll see a lot of people probably relate to this as well. And what they're doing, they'll probably feel their forearms kind of going, and their voice that's before they actually, before the back fails, but focus on driving through the elbows. And um, you should only feel that. Four amps should really come into the car, maybe until the last one.
back in March and half last session done. As you will see, it's, it's not crazy different from stuff we usually do, but you know, there is some there are some things in there that we wouldn't usually run with, the likes of pull-ups, even the deficit SLEL and stuff like that. You know, quite different, the rep ranges are quite different as well, what we usually run with, but like I said, it's a really, really nice session. Um, and you know, if you don't try new things sometimes, you're not gonna learn, you know, I want to learn for, you know, for myself and then for my clients as well. It's nice to think outside the box because there are other, you know, other ways to try and other kind of methods to try with. So kind of do, you know, open your eyes to some things, learn kind of what else is out there, and then kind of take them what you want from that and implement it into your own and your clients sort of training. Um, so I'm gonna move on to triceps next um, and also biceps for me as well. Few of us doing uh, some delts, but I'll be doing biceps because my arms are pretty really shit um, and they're very long, so they're, they're very weak in the pose, so there's front poses and stuff like that. So I'll actually be doing hip biceps now and then uh, going on to a few other biceps as well before we kind of wrap things up. So we're doing um, cross, crossover triceps extensions at the moment, hold the contraction for two seconds and then the stretch for one second as well. You'll see exactly what I'm doing now. But, and then Rep range here is 15 to 20 and then really finishing off a parish as well. So really just trying to get as much blood in there as possible and really challenge that kind of short and range when we're contracting. a lot looser than they would have been as well. So again, all these little things like mobility before, um, deep stretching after, you know, coil factor, uh, deep tissue and stuff like that as well. So, you know, we're really, really trying to emphasize recovery and, you know, uh, reduce the risk of injury as well. They really, really have helped over the last one. So, uh, yeah, we can do with them and hopefully uh, stay away from injuries and like keep growing.
Go.